increase your cash. Here's something that also happens. Cash flow. And that's what you're doing when you're bringing in capital from shares and money from the bank. You are creating a cash flow. And you guys have a cash flow on a personal level. Cash flow is simple cash in, cash out. You have a positive cash flow when you have more cash coming in as opposed to cash going in. Negative, you go the other way. Operating, investing, and finance. So there you go. Now you're set. Who runs the business? You run the business. If you're an owner of the company, must you run the business? No. It's not really. Not really. No. You can have somebody else. You've got to hire them, but you got to pay All right. Sometimes you need services, and you don't have the money to pay. How do you give someone compensation? Give them shares of your company. That, didn't they do that with, um, was it Facebook? And probably also Google. As soon as Facebook went public, all right, a lot of the employees became millionaires. All right, because that's how it started. Hey, listen, I need your help. I don't have the capital to give you, uh, but would you take shares? And everybody made the right choice. All of a sudden, the stock goes through the roof. Boom! They're money. Or billion. That's what it happens. All right. Now, cash flow, cash in, cash out. You start to operate. And that means you have revenue less expense. Or expenses, usually you have more categories. Revenue, uh, selling tickets uh, to events, uh, sales, advertising. Uh, maybe you are getting advertising revenue. Uh, your expenses, you may have to hire people. Maybe you need a, to hire a chief financial officer. Uh, you may be paying yourself. By the way, if you are incorporated, you can become an employee of your, your own corporation. But you're watching all the money. Right? Um, insurance expense. You may have um, rent expense. You may have to, uh, um, you may be le uh, getting fees um, from various organizations that are paying you for the use of, let's say, a film. All right? And rights and so on and so forth. And, and your income is coming in from that particular area. In other words, these various movie houses are, are not getting those movies for free. And they're coming in from all, all angles. Right. Um, in fact, I had a discussion recently with someone from the movie industry about the limited amount of a particular movie available. And they said, well, that's not on purpose, because they want people to buy the DVDs. So they've limited their choices out there. So you go buy. Well, you may be getting involved in that, too. All right. uh, in any event, promotion, marketing, who knows about you? Who's going to write about it? Uh, so you hire maybe a marketing person. Um, and you come up with a plan. How are we going to market? How are we going to get this to market? Similar with uh, music. You know, there are certain music you hear constantly. <laughs> but that isn't done just by chance. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Okay? In any event, you have you know, a lot of expenses, including taxation. Uh, and that's it. And what happens is, and, and you know, I, I, I can go on and on and on, but I want to really open it up. Your stockholders want to return. The IRS wants their money. Stockholders want to return. And also, you want to. Um, make your stockholders happy. Now this is where we get into that tug of war. Right. Who comes first? Your customer base, maybe they all come in together. Your stockholders. If you're a stockholder, you expect a return. You're not doing this just to spin wheels. 
you think it's a good investment, I hope to make some money. The venture capitalists, I told you, they want um, as little as 25% of those cases. So they want a piece of the country. Right? So you've got to consider that. You've got to try to show a profit. Um, we haven't even talked about um, going public, which means going public means selling your shares on the market without affecting your 51%. Maybe you have 10% of your shares on the market. You have to deal with this group right here in securities and exchange. And Mary Shapiro, who runs that particular operation, a lot of responsibilities. So you have your shareholders, you have the people who have invested their capital, you have the public, we have ethics. All right. What type of social responsibility? How do you fit in that particular um, You know, where do you say the line is drawn so you're not doing anything on it? You guys remember Enron and how to push the numbers, all right, to make things look as they really aren't because of the pressures and the loss of a major accounting firm. Who ever thought Arthur Anderson would disappear? Arthur Anderson was the one who was. Cap. And in this particular business, all right, you have all these angles, and then you have to run your business, and you have to constantly renew, all right. As one thing, you guys know how the um, technology field is. Didn't uh, Apple just come up with a new iPhone? You guys all have your names on the list, right? I emailed this morning. There you go. See it. All right, but they're already a generation or two ahead, or even. Think about it. And that's where you have to be, because now you have to think, well, what do I do now? You have to keep going. 